dude! Got a hole in your trailer! Yeah. Okay guys, so camera's gonna be running away. Oh, this is nighttime. Alright. So I want to get some testing done with one thermometer and two a refrigerator. So I'm gonna test cooling and how much draw and how long that will draw on our battery banks all night. I want to see if that can make it all night. So, let's give it a shot. Alright guys, so we are on DC power. That is our AC we are not hooked up to. I'm going to put this in the bottom. So it's not right there. I don't know, maybe I need to have it standing up. All right, I'll go ahead and shut that. Since it doesn't have a refrigerator light, I put a light up there. All right, I'm gonna turn that light off because that's run off DC. And our refrigerator is this one down here. I can hear it running. Let's go take a step out back and take a look at the draw from the charge controller. I've got a 12.7 right now. Sorry guys, a little dark out here. Alright, so we're going to run this. The thing says to run for three hours before putting food in. So in three hours I should be able to see how cold it gets and how much draw this thing is going to produce to get that ice box cold so we'll see now if this thing is able to draw all night long that would be awesome um, right now we are pulling 550 amp hours in our battery banks so the question is will it last we'll find out alright guys so I got out here a little late I had to run to the store and pick up some more silicone and some expandable foam because I'm going to seal up that bathroom really well. And I've got a tractor passing through here. Uh, so this morning we've got our solar the 12.9. Of course we are all shaded up over here where the trailer is parked. Uh, I left that on last night. We got the refrigerator. We left that running So it didn't make it through the night. Nothing shut down That is not the correct Measurements as far as my amperage uh, so as far as my voltage that actually dropped down to 12.2 last night And of course when the Sun came up it started charging again so The refrigerator works uh, we're gonna go check out our temperature right now Alright guys, so let's see here, we've got a temperature rating right below 40 degrees inside this thing, so that's pretty cool. I was wondering, I mean it's a little cool out today, oh well you can't see it because it's, cold. <laughs> it's temperature. Um, last night I went ahead and installed some styrofoam against the walls. And then I use this insulation packing around the cone area and insulation down here around the ice chest just to help with the uh, temperatures. Also today we are trying to finish up everything. One second here. Turn on the bathroom light here. Okay, so I'm going to cut this back and we're going to punch a hole through the nose. We will be running our piping through for ventilation. I love these things. These things are awesome. Um, 
we'll mount our fan in because that is hooked up to uh, our switches. They work very well. Those are brushless. Um, I got them set of twos per box. I seem to have misplaced a whole box of them somewhere. I don't know where they are. But uh, we're going to get that done today. It's been a while since I worked with fiberglass guys and uh, I should have thought about that. See all that little hairs when I was drilling that hole? <clears throat> Breathing that junk in. Nasty, nasty stuff. Alright, so we decided to go above the rib. Uh, I was going to have to cut so much down that our ventilation would have been so low. I didn't want it that low. I wanted it up higher. So, we'll go fit everything together. I had to cut my 3 inch pipe to come through. And it actually works out pretty good because now I can anchor into this rib instead of just the fiberglass to hold the pipe um, assembly. So yeah, that will work. Uh, it wasn't originally planned, but it'll be alright. I'm going to cut this stuff back, finish cutting that off. I've got a flapper wheel, clean it up nice, get it mounted, and we got that foam spray to seal this sucker up. Once the silicone in, the uh, pipe and everything to make sure it doesn't leak. And that's silicone on the inside and outside. So, let's get back at it. Alright guys, so we got that stuff sprayed all up in there. I'm going to wait, let it do its thing, then I'm going to trim it, then I'm going to go back and hit it again. Make sure it's all sealed up. Uh, we did get the uh, exhaust installed. Let me hit that switch. The exhaust fan works. So... That project's done. All right. And I had so many other projects to be working on. Oh, let's see here. Oh, while we're here. Man, learn to drive it. Sound like a crappy dirt bike. Anyway, while we're here, so these work. When I turn on my lights, these work. I had to order some side mirror, um, side uh, marker lights, my yellow and red, because they do not work. Uh, when I pulled them off, the wire and everything was rotted out of it. So I've got to. Those will be coming in tomorrow. So yeah, I had pulled these off, and it's just rotten stuff. So, went ahead and ordered some. I got a good deal. I think I got the two fronts and two backs, like 13 bucks on Amazon. So, since it'll be here tomorrow, I'm going to run some wire and make sure that I'm ready to receive those. You know, just slide them in place, bolt them down when they come in. So, be working on that today. Um... But yeah guys, it's it's just about done. Uh, just odds and ends I'm working on right now. The wife right now, she's inside packing up some things. So, we're getting there. So, just a real quick shout out before we get to working. Um, I was working in this and my phone went off. Uh, one of our subscribers who asked not to be named, and that's quite alright had uh, donated some uh, money for our travel, help with the build and everything here. Um, I spoke to this individual before and they had offered to help with our tire situation because we've only got one spare. And they hooked us up on PayPal. We were able to, we have enough money now to order another tire. So we're gonna do that. And speaking to this individual, we decided it's probably best to put the new tires on the trailer and then use the tires, existing tires, and use those as spares. So that's what we're going to do, guys. Uh, to that donor, although you asked not to be named, which should be fine, um, we definitely want to thank you. Things are getting tight. Um, 
we're not broke or anything like that. But, you know, we've got a plan on everything. But I do really appreciate that support. I really do. That does help us out. It means a lot to us. Uh, having those two new tires on this trailer is going to be a great, great idea. And that way we can use the other tires for our spare. So we definitely appreciate that. Um, I won't say your name because you asked me not to. If you ever decide that you want your name shouted out, you just let me know. I'll be happy to do that. Anyway, guys, I do put up my PayPal link. That's on you if you decide to do that. Nobody has to do that, okay? Watching the videos, I talked about this in the past, watching the videos, letting that ad play, that helps this channel out a lot. I mean, we get ad revenue. So we, we make a little bit of money off that. The Super Chats, I get a lot of great Super Chats. One of our main Super Chatter, I will I will call that person out, JT, and, <coughs> and Alaska Prepper have been pretty regular on that. Guys, I, I know JT's a gal, um, we do appreciate that help. We really do. That does help us out. Um, it helps us out with this. It really does, guys. The watching the videos, we get the ad revenue. That helps with our builds. Uh, it helps with what we got going on here. We don't have a lot of bills. I've always been, I've always been weird about that. I don't like having bills. So, not having bills means I have to work on everything myself, which is fine because I know how to work on a lot of things. So that's just the way I was raised. So that money is actually going towards, you know, getting some nicer things. You know, getting updated equipment, things like that, and like our inverter, charge controllers, the refrigerator solar you know all that stuff adds up guys so definitely want to appreciate every single one of y'all there's a lot of great stuff coming from the community as far as comments ideas i love comments and ideas I really do when they get nasty that's when i finally just put my foot down on that but for the most part everybody's been great on this oh while i have you guys i do want to say something my buddy ryan over there prescott caliber club uh, I don't know if you guys, there's a lot of y'all that have one over there and subscribed. If you have not subscribed to him, please do. Right now, he's on the road. He's heading to Richmond. He's been on the road for like three days now. Uh, he just got finished putting up a video. He was over there meeting up with Will Patriot, which is another great channel. That was one of my larger collaboration videos. I got to go over there and uh, do a video with him a while back. And... He's got a great channel. Definitely go check him out. But they were there. They were hanging out and stuff like that. Um, keep Ryan in mind, guys. He's going to a very dangerous situation, which could turn dangerous. Let's put it that way. I understand why he's going to Virginia. I do. The wife and I, we can't. All right. One, with my background, I'm no good there. Plain out simple. I'm no good. I would hurt any cause if I tried to go standing up for Second Amendment rights with no Second Amendment rights. Okay, let's put it that way. As much as I would love to, I just know it, it would wind up hurting the cause if I did. So, Ryan, you've got a lot of support from over here. Um, my family's definitely thinking about you, brother. Uh, I try texting you when I can. Make sure you're good. But yeah, guys, keep Ryan in mind. Uh, if you're not subscribed to him, go check out his new videos. He's on the road right now. He should be getting to Virginia today or tomorrow. I think I think today. So yeah, definitely, guys, go check him out. Show him that support. Uh, again, Ryan, just be safe, man.